Good evening, my fellow Americans. Um, I wish to leave some comments about a few things. First of all, I have been in contact with the uh, UN, uh, U.S. Secretary, to the Ambassador to the UN, Madeleine Albright. What look like optimist, uh, optimistic goals in the negotiations in Munich has broken down again due to a Serbian aggression. Um, it is my hope, my hope that the state will find some way to solve it. To this end, I am sending Richard Holbrook in six days to, Re to Reykjavik, Iceland for one more round of negotiations. Also, there was a bill before the House working on the extension of Medicare. I returned it because I did not feel like they explained why there had to be necessary cuts. I have said that I will not compromise on cuts in Social Security, Medicaid, and Medicare. I believe in the, in the budget per se, but not when it comes to slashing money that should go towards the safety net of the nation's poor, disabled, and elderly. <clears throat> I'll open for your questions. Frank Carter, sir, of CBMC. My question to you is this. On the matter of um, Colin Souza, as they call him now, has been arrested in Texas County, Texas. Uh, he's in... Um, He's being transferred, if I believe correctly, to Arkadelphia. Could you please explain what's going on? I will not comment about Colin Sosa's, um, what is going on there. I leave that matter to be discussed by the independent counsel. But you are aware that he was involved in some loan sharking for Tim McDougal. Jim Guy Tucker and Seth Stone. He was somewhat involved with Seth Stone. Seth Stone bears the weight of most of the loan sharking operations. He could be pretty damn corrupt. But one thing is for sure is this. Jim McDougal and Jim Guy Tucker had nothing to do with this gentleman. Regardless of what he might say. Beyond that, do you care wish to comment about whether you're not you this gentleman? I do not wish to comment any further. Uh, uh, yes. Now, I'm a Pat Sanders from the Society page. You are aware that um, the court in Little Rock has dropped the case regarding Paula Jones? How do you feel about such things? Um, I'm relieved. Beyond that, no comment. So, you you have no comment on her sentiments or what your lawyer is going to do should it be appealed? Because there is talk of appeal. I, Miss, Miss, Mrs. San, Miss Sanders, I have no wish to comment about that or dignify it. But you did not sexually harass Paula Jones, is that correct? Let me qualify this one more time. I did not, did not, have not, have not, never, ever, ever sexually harassed Paula Jones. I never, never, never asked anybody to lie. These allegations are false. 
I'd like to discuss more about what to, to do for the American people. Yes. Frank Comey for the uh, Blake Carter Show. My question is about the uh, Medicare uh, spending extension. Do you think that that was a fair idea? I believe it is. Too often, Democrats and Republicans want to, want to cut where they shouldn't be. And what they do, they, they, but sometimes they do some cuts that I agree with, but not for so often. I will not compromise, therefore. Notwithstanding the fact sheet that, that our office sent that says that the spending is going out of control in bureaucratic red tape. I do not wish to comment about that. Now, if you excuse me, I've got to get back to work for the American people. Thank you.